Hey guys, it's Rina. It's time to do another Supergirl reaction video to Season 2, Episode 7. I actually managed to stay on Twitter today, so I don't really know anything about this episode, which is great. Haven't seen anything. Don't know what to expect. Don't really have much else to say. It's already pretty late and I'm a bit tired, but I do have uh, some coffee liqueur with milk and ice, so... Uh, hopefully it'll keep me awake and... Let's just get started. What is Alex up to this episode? I shouldn't get involved with something that's just fresh off the boat. I'm here for you. But fresh off the boat! I love that show. Oh no, is this episode gonna be heavy on everyone else except for Alex Danvers? If this is an episode all about the Guardian, I am... I didn't say he wasn't impressive. Bored. I just said I didn't know if he... It's weird. Danvers! Ooh! It's been a hot minute. How are you? Oh, yeah, good, good. Oh, the sister. <laughs> yeah, oh, I uh, heard yeah. so much about you from Alex, and I've heard all about you. Um, can I borrow you a minute? What's going on? Hey, so you haven't returned any of my calls. I've been worried about you. Well, you oh, know, I've been working. Listen, they have a really um, cute height difference. I have I just to say. To make sure everything was okay. You know, I'm fresh off the boat. That's not your thing. I'm still friends? Okay. That's okay. Yeah, I'm good. All good. So, I just wanted to see how you were feeling. I just wanted to see how my white Martian blood was doing inside of your green Martian body. Oh God. Guardian, yay. Looks like a hero to me. Wait for it. I'm so fucking sick of this. Oh my god, this is so boring. She's so extreme. There's probably a door somewhere, Kara. Plenty of doors. I should have locked you in that laboratory when I had the chance. Here, Hank Henshaw. The real Hank Henshaw. Wait, what? You survived? Yes, I survived. Oh! To end alien life on this planet. But what are you that. now? Like, he's clearly weird now. My turn. Laser eyes, Kara. And the rest of the alien she really doesn't use her powers on enough. This oh! There you go! Oh, he's half cyborg. But aliens, that's where he draws the line. Or identity. Hey, when have you heard from Kara? Your girlfriend's on screen. She's on her way to help capture Guardian. Break. <laughs> I know six different very painful ways to get you to tell me who Guardian is using my index finger. And before I... No, no. Alex. That was a... James. Are you kidding me? She's so angry with this idiot. I'm... Alex, you cannot tell anybody about this. Not your sister, not Maggie, no one. All right, James is out there. He's trying to help. Why not? But why can't you tell Kara? I will deal with the both of you later. They are like her idiot brothers. Oh, Danvers, I was just texting. <laughs> I need you to lay off Guardian. You mean National City's mass serial killer? No way. Oh, no. We're not friends. Oh, okay. Um, oh, no. I'm lost. What happened? We hung out. Whoa, she has feelings close. for you. Then you called me out for liking you, and then I had the guts to admit yes, because I was sure of one thing. Oh, no. And that was my feelings for you. Initially, I was terrified, but ultimately, I was proud to come out because it wasn't just some concept. It was about my feelings for this amazing woman. But now, I don't feel liberated or, or like I am on some great journey. All I feel is pain because you don't want me. Oh, Alex, that's not why. Just, you know what? Save it, okay? Let's... It's not what's important right now. What is important is that I don't you are guardian. Oh, God, now I ship it. <laughs> 
Hey, hey, um, have you heard from Kara? Because I love Alex. Well, she hasn't checked in yet. I've seen you before. From the hundred. I'm in Luther's office. What were you doing there? I might ask you the same. I don't like the idea of you. Lena. Where is Lena? I'm surprised she didn't turn up here. She could find Kara anywhere. Does she know who her mother really is? And what are you to my daughter? I'm a friend. Well, we don't before. know. Years ago, Superman came to my son Lex and promised him the world. Oh. A new dawn for man. I thought she was talking about like other Lex girlfriends Lena has had. The world Lex was evil. Well. My darling boy. He is. Let's. My genius. I mean, Kara, they let you out. You probably could have beat the shit out of them all before putting on the helmet. But it's okay. It'll all be over soon. <laughs> what are you doing to her? Why do you need my blood? Murder conviction, but was also released on a technicality. Oh, yeah. Put it up on all the screens so no one can see what you're doing. Improperly classified. Okay. So Not suspicious at up. all. Is he turning into I've a white Martian? about to act on this. There's something I have to tell you. What, did you blow it up? Come with me. Who are you? Your dad! Kara, it's me. Damn it. Papa! I can't believe it. Oh. We have to move. What? How did you get... No, no. This is not the time, Monel. The lead poison is spreading. I need oh. to take the bullet out now. Just go. Why doesn't I'll he just leave? Now. I've been here 15 years. I'll survive a little longer. If I leave you here, Alex will never but forgive why me. doesn't he just go with the... Car, have you... Like, as if they wouldn't just kill him. I'm not gonna include any of this in my reaction. Hey, Maggie. Oh, and Alex. Double team. Why were those two riding together? Can what happened there? Oh my god, I just heard Alex. I had no idea Cadmus took you. I should have been there. Alex. Oh. Jeremiah helped us escape. Oh. You saw Dad. And I know where he is. Well, they're obviously not there anymore, right? They all moved. Dum dums. Oh, she comes like barging in after him. I love her. Jeez, you put her in a cell? Thanks for sparing my life. I spared you so you can rot in a cell for all eternity, not because I care. Jesus Christ, John. Oh! Help heating up the under the pizza? Yep. A superhero's work is never done. Yeah. <laughs> I'd probably abuse her powers too. Oh, sisters. Is uh, is Kara mated to someone? Say what? Well, on, on Daxum we. Oh, they are going there romantically with them. And, and a certain age, boom. Has Kara chosen? No, she has not. Um, why do you ask? Oh my God. Just studying earthly customs. No. No! Fucking hell! I got it. Is it Maggie? <laughs> hey. Um. What's happening? What are you? Uh, what are you doing here? She loves you. I really need to talk to you. She loves you. And if you just give me two minutes of your time, I promise I'll be out of your hair. She wants you to be in her hair. Two minutes. I heard everything you said. I get it. Because I don't want to imagine my life without you in it. Pool tomorrow night. Wouldn't miss it. How was that? Oh, spy much? <laughs> <laughs> We're just gonna be friends. Okay. 
Well, I want to know what Cadmus wants with your blood. You and I both. Uh oh. They're going to the. No, they're going to the Chamber of Secrets. Halt, or you will be disintegrated. Disintegrate! Halt, or you will be disintegrated. Go, quick! Disintegrate! Oh. This will be your final warning. Hello, Karzarel. How can I help I you? I mean, just use your eyes. Here's the phantom on the upper. Everything you know about the project you call Medusa. Oh great. Okay, so I think I am starting to ship Maggie and Alex, which is great. Um, because they had like it, like it's because they didn't instantly get together. Now they actually have to work at it, and it's interesting um, to see how that's going to happen. I I still don't think it's going to be super easy for them. Like they're not just going to play pool and then start going out like I think there's probably going to be some more hurdles down the road but I like that sort of it's coming more from Maggie now um so yeah it's really interesting and it was really uh it's good I like how it's developing <sighs> the Guardian stuff do not like it's kind of boring I mean it's the same sort of thing where Superman's on the show for a bit and yeah he gets his time in the spotlight be like you don't want him to be on the show for so often because it takes away from Kara and Supergirl and her storyline so I don't like I don't want the Guardian thing to become like a major thing because I just I just don't care I just don't want to know anymore about all of this vigilante stuff I just yeah, like we have Daredevil for that guys we have the Punisher for that guys we don't need the Guardian it was really great to see Jeremiah in this episode and that uh, Kara got to see him alive and well and himself. He looks like he's totally himself. Uh, it was kind of weird that he didn't just run away with him while he could. I still really like where Alex's story is going. It still seems pretty uh, natural to me, like the natural progression of stuff. Um, that she got pretty angry and like confrontational with Maggie. Like that seems pretty, um, pretty fair. Yeah, another thing I do not want is the Supergirl Monel romance like uh, I thought they weren't going to do it and they're gonna make them like brother and sister and be really cute and just develop like a mutual respect for each other and sort of be like that mentor student kind of role but of course you know we can't have that ever they have to be romantic interests that just means that all the males like the main male characters are, have all been romantically interested in Kara in some way and that's just it's so boring to me like there is more story that can be told that doesn't involve everything being romantic like because there's a female and a male character you never you like why do they always have to be interested in each other that way it's, there are different relationships in life guys anyway like oh, I'm not looking forward to that and then there's gonna be James being all jealous and shit and then but apart from that, I'm pretty interested in the Katniss stuff and also with Lena and how that's going to play out, like if she knows or if she doesn't. Like, she has to know, right? She's not dumb. Lena's a very smart woman. She has to know that something iffy is going on with her mother. Um, but I'm pretty certain Lena is not evil and is legitimately trying to be a good person. So we'll see how that goes. And I still think she's gay and in love with Kara. And I think, like, maybe there's a possibility that Alex and Lena might have a thing and then that makes Maggie really jealous and that's sort of the thing that lights a fire under her ass. But until then, guys, that's Supergirl. See you next time. Bye!